Hi all, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we are going to discuss the usage of Odoo 15 in publishing content on your website. From the e-commerce dashboard of the website module, you will get the option go to website. And here we will get various options to manage and design your website. To add a new content, we can click on this new button and using this option, you can create a new page, blog post, event, forum, job offer, product, course and appointment form. Without any difficulties, you can easily create content that represent your business on this platform. So let's take a look into each of these options separately. It is possible to create different pages on a website based on the purpose and need of the company and this helps to organize your website in a systematic way. The content of different journals can be arranged and published under the different pages on a website and you can create pages for blogs, events, travels, help desk and many more related to the operation of a company on a website and manage each of those pages separately. In Odoo, a new page for the website can be easily created by using this page option and clicking on this option, it will give a pop-up window to mention the title of the page. So the user can give a suitable title to the new page in this given space. Moreover, we can configure this page to the main menu on your website by activating this add to menu option. Now use the create button to create and design a new page. So the title of the newly created page can be seen in the main menu of the website. And the status of the new page is unpublished and you can change it to published in order to publish the page on your website. And before publishing the page, you can use the edit button to edit and design the new page as per your choice. So using this drag and drop option, you are allowed to add attractive blocks to your new page. Advanced structure, features, dynamic content and inner content uh, blocks are available in this editing panel. And you can also style them using etiquette tools in this styling field. So after adding the required blocks and designing them, we can save, save this. To give more information about the products and services that the company provides it to its customers, you can publish the blogs regarding your business. So a user can effortlessly create and manage records of blogs in the backend using the website module in Odoo. Similarly, a new blog can be easily created in the front end also. For this, we can use the blog post button from the screen. And a pop-up window will display on the screen where we need to select the type of blog. So variety type of uh, blogs can be uh, created in the backend using the corresponding platform in the Odo website. So after selecting a type, you can click on this create button and Odo will direct the user to a new page. Here we can uh, add a title and subtitle to the blog. So here you can start writing the blog in the main body and the editing tool will help you to add suitable images to the blog to make it more attractive. And after saving this blog, you can publish it on your website. And here all the published and unpublished blogs can be observed on the blog page on your website. To manage and organize all the events in a company, you will get the dedicated events module in the Odoo ERP system. With the help of this module, you can create records of new events within a few clicks. So publishing events on the company website will help you to seek the attention of a large audience and Odoo will also allow participants to register for the event from the website itself. To publish an event on the website, we can click on this event option. Here we can mention the important details about a new event in the pop-up window. This include the event name, location and the uh, date of the event. So here we can enter the event name.
and click on this create button and uh, using this editing option you can add a brief description of the event on the given field so the main objective of the event can be explained in the description along with the instruction to the participant and here the configure ticket option will help you to configure tickets to the event in the backend So after publishing it on the website, a participant can register for this event using this register option. So you can find all the events published on your website on the events page. The forum feature in Odo will help a company to provide an open discussion platform where the website visitor can ask questions, clarify doubt and share thoughts. So this is an excellent feature to connect your customers. So if a customer has any queries or doubts about the products and services provided by a company, he or she can ask questions on the forum published by the respective company. So this platform allows participants to give answer to the question asked by the others and give rewards to them by engaging in various activities on the forum. So you can create a new forum on the website by clicking on this forum option. And here the details about the new forum can be mentioned in the pop-up window. Here we can specify the name of the forum in the forum name field. And here we can activate the add to menu option if you want to add this forum to the menu. And you can set the forum mode as question and answers or discussion as per your demand. And the privacy of the forum can be set as public if you want all the visitors to participate in this forum. And by selecting the signed in option, you can restrict the privacy of the forum only to signed in users. After setting the privacy, you can click on this create button. Now we can post uh, the content for the new forum using this new post option. So when you click on this new post button, it will get a uh, new field to create a post for the forum. So here we can specify the title, description and tags in the given spaces. And clicking on the post your question button, it will post your question onto the particular forum. So the visitors will get details about the published forums on your website from the forum page. Publishing vacant job position on the company website will be helpful for both the HR department and the applicants. And this will simplify the recruitment procedures. So by publishing the job offers on the website, a candidate can easily search and apply for a job suitable for his or her qualification. And this will also help a company to locate qualified applicants. So with the help of the recruitment module in Odo, you can effectively create and publish job offers. And from Odo website, you can use the job offers option to publish a new vacancy in the company. So you will get a default model for a job offer which can be edited using the editing tool. In this uh, job offer post, you can include necessary information like the title of the job, location, number of uh, vacancies, brief description, must have qualifies, uh, qualities and qualification for the job, salary package, work schedule and offers. And with the help of the blogs, you can design the post and after creating a job offer, you can change the status of the post from unpublished to publish. Now the candidate can apply for this job from the website using this apply now button. To sell your product and services online, Odoo helps you to create an excellent e-commerce site using the website module. 
In today's world, online shopping platforms are growing tremendously and e-commerce platforms made it easier to purchase product online within a few clicks. In Odoo, a company can publish product on their website using the product option. Here we can mention the name of the product in the given field. And click on this create button. So a new page will appear after clicking on this create button. And on this page, uh, we can add more details regarding the product using the editing tool. Here we can give a brief description about the product in this given field. And the price of the product can also be adjusted on this platform. Additionally, you can mention the terms and conditions, uh, shipping policies and return policies on this product page. And the product page can be customized as per your demand using the suitable blocks from the editing panel. And by clicking on this image field, you will be able to get a pop-up window to add an image of the product. So here uh, we can use the upload an image option to upload images uh, from your system and it is possible to add the URL of the image in this window. So we can uh, save the product after adding all the important details and change the status to published. So here the shop page on your website will display all the published products and if you want to purchase a product from the company website you can visit the shop page and add products to your cart. The online learning platform has become a boon to the companies and educational sectors to provide e-learning courses for employees and students in this pandemic era. Without much investment and infrastructure, you can easily conduct skill development courses on the website for the employees in your company. With the help of the Odoo e-learning module, Odoo enables you to provide courses for the website visitors and you can also create new courses directly from your website. So we can click on this course option and in this pop-up window we can specify the details about the new course. So here we can give a suitable title for the course in the specified field. Then in this tag field, we can add the appropriate tags for the new course and for the website view, we can select a layout for the course. And a brief description of the course can be added under the description field and the main objectives behind conducting this course can also be specified. By activating the allow students to review our course option will let participants give a review regarding the course they have attended. And finally, click on this create button. So you will get an unpublished version of the course as seen here. And using this add content and add section option, you can add content and sections under this course. And here the share icon can be used to share this course on other social networks. And when you click on this add content button, you will get a pop-up window that include various type of content such as presentation, web page, video, quiz and certification. So here we can select one from the given list and complete the form regarding the selected content. So we can upload the document regarding the selected content on this window and specify the title, section, tags and duration of the content. And you can click on the save and publish button to save the content under the newly created course. 
So by publishing this course, it will be added to the course page on your website. So you can find it, uh, find more courses provided by your company on the courses page. Odoo website will assist you to publish appointment forms on your website. So this can be done in simple steps using the appointment forms option. So here we can mention the name of the appointment in the specified field. And then click on this create button. So you can choose the date from here and confirm it. So we can regularly publish content on a website using the advanced features and tools in the Odoo website that will help you to keep in touch with your customers. So having a well-maintained website will benefit you to boost your sales. So that's all about the video. Thank you for watching.